Hey everyone, first of all, please excuse my hair, it needs washed so bad and recolored and I just, I haven't been bothered to do it. But anyways, I am not wearing any makeup right now for the purpose of showing you how crappy my skin can be. It can have like a good few days just when I think it's starting to do really well. It like goes crazy and has like bad times and worse times so we're in a bit of a healing slash couple new breakouts stage right now and I get comments sometimes on um, my skin looking pretty good and I know that it doesn't so I figured that I would show those of you who are suffering with breakouts like I am or any like redness, discoloration, pigment sunspots, things like that, um, how I cover it up. I know some people are blessed with good skin and lucky for them but some of us have this problem, some worse than others. Um, so yeah, I just thought I would show you what this looks like before so we can really see how it looks after. So I'm going to go ahead and start by priming my face and I'm using the Maybelline Baby Skin Pore, what is this, Instant Pore Eraser and the L'Oreal Magic Lumi. I'm going to use this one first and put it all over. And I really like this primer even more than like the um, Becca Backlight or First Light primers. I feel like this one is just a lot more luminous as you can see and it's from the drugstore so it's way cheaper and just because your skin is broken out doesn't mean you have to like mat it down and dry everything out you can still have like a luminous healthy glow about yourself and then I'm just gonna put this one right here more so like in the center of my face where I have larger pores because I have a nice smooth base for it to stick to and just kind of press that in. And I'm trying to be careful because I've already kind of filled in my eyebrows. Oh, and also, please excuse my ratchet nails. These two, they like made a pact to both jump off at the same time. So both of those tips are missing. So, you know, whatever. So anyways, I've been using the Maybelline Dewy and Smooth. I also like the Matte and Poreless or the L'Oreal True Match Lumi or their Pro Matte and Pro Glow. All of those give a pretty good coverage and they're all from the drugstore so they're really affordable. So I just put that on the back of my hand and I'm going to apply it with a beauty blender. And the thing with breakouts is... A lot of people want to just like pile on a lot of makeup, you know, super full coverage, foundation, and all that. And I mean, that's fine. Those people just like full coverage in general, even if their skin is really good. But as far as like covering breakouts, the more you pack on your skin, kind of the worse it looks. It gets too cakey, and yeah, I mean, you're suffocating it even more. So just do a normal application all over, and then just go back with either more foundation or concealer, depending on how much coverage you need, just on those spots that are broke out. That way, you're only giving extra coverage where you need it. Okay, so now I have like one full layer all over and it covers up a lot, but a lot of it still shows. Let me zoom you guys in so you can see better. Okay, so I zoomed you guys in so hopefully you can see better. But as you can see, it covers up a lot of stuff, just like stuff that isn't as red or it's more flat, maybe it's older and more healing. But like the fresher spots or like the larger spots are still kind of showing a little bit, like that one you can really see. And it, you can only do so much to cover them. If they're raised, putting concealer on them isn't going to make them flat. Um, there's only so much you can do. Sometimes if they're like little ones, you can put a little spot of like um, eyeliner or something to make it look like a beauty mark. That way it hides the fact that it's sort of like a raised blemish. Um, but for flatter ones, you can just, you know, cover them with concealer and you're good to go. So now I've got this on and I am going to use my RCMA palette. This is like a foundation palette, but it has a lot of different colors in it. And I like to use something like this because whenever you're spot concealing, you want it to be like as exact of your skin color 
as possible because if it's too light, then it's going to highlight it. And if it's too dark, then you're going to have an obvious, like, darker spot. And you can mix, you know, liquid concealers or thinner ones too if you want, but I find this just as easy. You just you kind of mix in if I'm lighter or darker, if I'm self tanned or I'm pretty fair, um, then I kind of have all the colors that I need. So I'm just going to take a little brush. This is a precision tapered brush from Sigma and I'm just going to mix a couple of these colors, these first two shades, and just tap it onto the blemish. And I'm using a very light hand because A, sometimes breakouts can be tender, and also you just want to get as much coverage as you can. So that one, it's covered up the redness, but as you can see, it's still obviously kind of raised off of my skin, and again, there's nothing that we can do about that. Okay, so as you can see, it's already looking better. Like you can still see the texture of it, but most of the redness is gone, and it'll kind of get hidden a little more whenever you put on like your bronzer, your blush, whatever else you're doing. You do have to be careful when you're doing that though, because you don't want to like disturb the coverage that you have by putting on other products or like highlighter. If you have a breakout, just so happens like where you normally put highlighter, I would skip the highlighter because that's just going to make it worse. Okay, so then I'm going to go in with my regular concealer, and this is the Tarte Shape Tape, and I'm just going to conceal like I normally would. And then I normally highlight right here with my concealer, since I have that blemish there. I'm just going to stay a little bit lower because I don't want to accentuate it. And the same thing on my chin. I know I have some breakouts there, and I don't want to make them any more visible. Before I use any powder, I'm going to go ahead and use a cream bronzer. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion in the shade Cafe Au Soleil. So with this, I'm just keeping it back more because like, I have this blemish right here and I don't want to disturb the concealer. It wouldn't really highlight it. It would actually like hide it a little bit more because it's darker, but I don't want to run the risk of disturbing the concealer or the darker pigment sticking to it and then making it more visible. So just kind of do kind of what you would normally do, but go around whatever blemishes you have. And with this one, it's up a little bit further and it's kind of right there in the hollow of my cheek. So I'm going to start back a lot further. And then I'm just going to like very carefully kind of blend it over just so slightly, just so it's not like so far back and it kind of matches this side a little bit more. And if I do want to go like more in front of it, I can just kind of go around it. And then again, before I use any powder, I'm going to go ahead and use a cream highlight as well. If you have oilier skin, feel free to use a powder for either of these. I've just been using creams a lot lately just because it's summer and everyone's wanting more of like, you know, the dewy luminous skin and creams kind of help with that. Um, you can always use a cream and a powder too if you want to get a more potent or long lasting effect. It's just all preference to you. Obviously if you have oily skin, using just creams 
wouldn't really be suited for you. Drier skin would love just creams on their own without any powders. So for me today, all I'm going to use for powder is the loose powder that I'm going to use just to set a little bit under my eyes. Um, this shape tape though is probably one of the least creasing, needing setting kind of concealers that there is. So you might be able to get away with not setting it if you're using that, especially if you have drier under eyes, but I'm going to set it just a little bit. I'm not going to bake or anything. Okay, so actually I lied. I am going to set a little bit more than just my under eyes. I wasn't even thinking when I said that. Normally, if my skin is doing okay, I just set my under eyes. But since I have the whole blemish situation going on, I'm just going to take a little bit and just lightly tap it onto where the breakouts are. That way, all that work you did won't just slide off. Okay, so I went ahead and did some mascara and gloss off camera, and this is the finished result of my skin. It's far from perfect, but it's way better than it was, in my opinion. Um, I wish that I didn't have to even wear a foundation, let alone do all this work, um, but that's just the way it is sometimes. Not everyone is blessed with great skin, but I don't want to complain because I know that a lot of people have it way worse than I do, so this is just kind of the way that I manage it and make myself look and feel a little bit better about it, but you don't have to suffocate your entire face. Like I said, sometimes my face is doing really well and I can just do like a sheer layer of foundation I'm good to go. Other times I have to do like full coverage all over, but um, that's just the way it is. Sometimes your skin changes all the time. Sometimes it's really good, sometimes it's really bad. But this is just kind of what I do to make my skin look a little bit better, but not cakey or suffocated and it's still like healthy and luminous looking. So yeah, I really hope this helped you guys that are struggling with acne or you know age spots, sunspots, dark spots, any kind of facial annoyance I guess. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!